the last episode, we really had a chance to get into the build by adding themed elements to the case, mounting the hardware, and then tearing down for paint and finish. With a mod like this, cable management is very important. We don't want to upset the aesthetic of the design with a whole jumble of cables, so we're going to route them neatly down from the motherboard, through the base, to the power supply. If you're going to be overclocking your CPU, you need to have a more robust cooling solution to deal with the extra heat that will be produced. And since the ASUS Formula 12 motherboard came with an EK water block already on it, I got a matching EK block for the processor. So we're going to use EK's Quantum Magnitude water block. So first of all, we got to remove this. And then we're going to use the thermal paste that came with the packaging from EK. And then for all the other liquid cooling products, I went to my good friends at Primo Chill. All right, we got the system put together. So now we're doing some water cooling and we're going with a rigid copper tubing. It's gonna match the theme a little bit. And so I'm got a tube bender here and I'm working on getting the tubes from the uh, radiator to the pump right now. All right, we got it down to perfect size. And so I installed it with the Primo Chill SX fittings. Looks good. Okay, so we got all the tubes bent and installed, and now it's time to do a little leak testing. We're using Primo Chill's PC Ice, and I filled a little bit here. I'm gonna use my syringe, and we're gonna fill the uh, tube res, and we'll see if we have any leaks. What we're gonna do now is cycle the pump and work that fluid all the way through the tubing. So you get the fluid going down. So far, so good. We've finally completed our build and it looks and performs incredibly. Especially while playing a Total War Saga Troy. A great place to see the performance is during scenes where tens of thousands of units are displayed on screen at the same time while still running all supporting AI and rendering. Creative Assembly has done an awesome job figuring out how to get the most out of the tech to make the heroes look super realistic and support complex animations. Given the theme and the time frame, this was a super challenging build, but the end result was just amazing. A big thank you to Intel and A Total War Saga Troy for letting me be a part of this project. I hope you've enjoyed learning about the process as much as I have enjoyed building it. Thanks for watching.